Good afternoon to everyone within our school community, as well as our wider family and friends who may be watching around the world. As much as we would all prefer to be together in our auditorium today, presenting graduation through video allows us the opportunity to share the moment with a wider audience. We're all looking forward to being able to get haircuts again soon, as well as meeting up with friends and family outside of Zoom and FaceTime. It gives me great pleasure to welcome everyone here today as we congratulate the graduating class of 2020. It goes without saying that this has been an unprecedented academic year. At no time in our personal histories have we seen such an event grip the globe in both fear and hope. Fear for the unknown of what's to come or how long the current situation will last, but also hope that we have an opportunity to create a new normal and reshape our world as we know it. When the grandchildren of the class of 2020 ask about life during the pandemic, they'll hear stories of sadness, hardship, and loss. But they'll also know that it was the class of 2020 and the graduates who come behind you who bravely and confidently went forward into a world unknown, a future though uncertain that was filled with hope. Filled with hope because the class of 2020 around the world is confident and prepared with the skills and knowledge required to rebuild and reshape the world as we know it. The future has never been more in the hands of a graduating class than the class of 2020. For you not only have the opportunity to shape your own future, but the future for everyone. We keep hearing that there will be a new normal and that things can never go back the way they were. Everyone I speak to finds this exciting. I hope that your new normal is one with cleaner air, water, and energy sources. A new normal with more kindness, one with more love, more understanding and tolerance. A new normal with global collaboration and mutual respect. As the graduating class of 2020 from an IB international school, you already know how to do most of these things because you do them every day on campus. It's already how you interact with and treat with one another, and I find the idea of a new normal exciting. No one knows where we'll be 10 years from now, five years from now. Ask any of your parents or teachers, and I'm sure that none of them knew 10 years ago they'd be living in Singapore with a family and a child graduating from an IB international school. Some likely didn't know what the IB was or had ever been to Singapore. The point is that life has a tendency to push and pull us in different directions and we can't always control what's happening. The current global situation is a perfect case in point. The skills and abilities you've developed throughout your education to now have prepared you for whatever is to come your way. There's a bit of irony that the year is 2020 and they say 2020 is perfect vision, but there is no perfect vision moving forward only hindsight. As Steve Jobs said in his 2000 commencement address at Stanford University, in speaking about his success in life, you can't connect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking backward. As I look backward to my previous graduation speeches, way back to 2011, I note a couple of things I said then that are relevant today and every day. Though everything around you will change, you'll remain constant in who you are. You are all amazing young individuals and your families and friends are sitting here today beaming with joy who you have, over who you have become since they've known you. There are many quotes I could pull off the internet, but if I can offer any words of wisdom, it's something my father said to me many years ago as I was heading off to university. The first is never miss an opportunity to wash your hands. That was excellent advice back then, and it continues to be excellent advice in today's situation. So remember, 20 seconds, soap and water. You can refer to Vietnam's hand washing video that went viral if you forget how to do it. The second thing he said is that no matter what's going on around you, no matter how hard things seem or what pressures you're under, remain true to yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's only yourself you have to answer to. Morality, ethics, personal pride, these are all a long game, not a short one. To the graduating class of 2020, I'd like to congratulate you on this wonderful achievement today. You've finished the long journey of kindergarten through high school. I'd also like to remind you that you don't have to have all the answers right now. You have an entire life ahead of you, and part of the excitement is the unknown. Work hard, find your passion, fulfill your dreams. We look forward to your new normal.
to the class of 2020. This letter was written and orated by Kashagra Jen and Camilla Fan. A year ago today, I was an MC at the graduation ceremony for the class of 2019. I remember standing off stage looking at my classmates sitting in the audience thinking, this is going to be us next year. The thought scared me. It terrified me knowing that our high school journey was coming to its final year. Like you, I grew up watching movies that romanticized high school, fantasizing about the day I would finally start my own movie. Unfortunately, our stories never got their proper endings, and it feels like the director has left us with one of the biggest cliffhangers in history. Four years ago, we entered high school as completely different people, physically, mentally, socially. The growth we experienced in these quick four years is unlike no other, and along the way, we picked up so many outstanding achievements. Our student athletes brought home eight Axis sports medals, triumphed at two 24-hour races, and broke a total of 37 plastic chairs. Our scientists and entrepreneurs were finalists at a STEM competition. Our artists decorated the school walls, and one of them has even won exceptional international awards. No journey is without its setbacks, but the class of 2020 is extremely resilient. We survived eating pigeons from the canteen, getting roasted by Mr. Lewis on a regular basis, catching chicken pox from Keshev, and last but definitely not the least, sitting through double period physics classes with Mr. Balgoin. To speak on more current matters, I would like to relay a quote by esteemed actor and philosopher Zach Efron that represents the situation we are all in right now. When you're young, everything feels like the end of the world. But it's not. It's just the beginning. At times, it really does feel like the end. As soon as we log out of our Google Hangouts accounts today, the class of 2020 will be facing a world of uncertainties. Most of us are unsure whether or not we'll be able to go to university, whether or not we'll be able to reunite with our friends and families, and whether or not our favorite bubble tea stores will still be in stock after they reopen. Regardless, the one thing that we do know for sure is that we will survive, and we will soon be entering a new era for humanity. It is within our own generation that we will reinvent the world we live in. In our own graduating class, we have future doctor Renoa Cannon, pharmacist Justin Nguyen, future Oscar-winning film director Siwoo Kim, future unrelenting president of the United States Kalita Boo, and his even more charming VP Miles Saunders Ruiz. I mean, just picture it. Intelligent machines and self-driving cars, courtesy of mechatronics engineer Kushaka Jane. And the collapse of Wall Street, when big boy billionaires Keshav Nair, Kunal Wagle, and Josh Aranya Mukherjee decide that it's a good idea to buy the New York Knicks, the NBA team Anir Wissairam will be the head coach of. This will, of course, be revived by our future lawyers Adi Ajay and Crystal Poe, as well as our CEOs Pufa Buranakit Pinyo and Camelia Pham. And last but not least, Shun Fukui, Arshmir Roshan, and Harry Taylor. I wish you all the best of luck for the future. All jokes aside, we must not forget not to worry too much about the future. We must live now, in the present. As a senior, we learned that this life goes by fast. After moving to home-based learning, we really did miss our second home at the campus. We came to appreciate every moment that we live in, because to be honest, you don't really know how good it is until it's gone. Our time in DP has been rough for all of us. Our senior year of high school was stripped away by COVID-19, from prom to live graduation. But I'd be missing out if I didn't mention somebody today. We lost our friend CJ Tallis to the struggles of cancer earlier this year. But even though he isn't here with us today, his bright and warm presence is and always will be felt with the class of 2020. And for that, I'd like to dedicate this graduation to him. There's one significant thing that I learned from him this year. Whenever I would go visit CJ in the hospital, he would always appear to be brave. He was always smiling and making most of the time he had. He knew he didn't have much time left, so instead of worrying about tomorrow, he was celebrating today the best he could. And that's something that I think everyone can learn from him. Even if we're living in tough times, make the most of what you can. No one knows what will happen tomorrow, so don't forget to spend time with each other and be excellent to yourself. This was a letter we never thought we would have to write. But even though our high school movies come to a close with no fairy tale ending, they are filled with gratitude and optimism for the main characters in our lives. Graduates, each and every one of us has the potential to make a positive difference in the world. As we part ways, equipped with priceless knowledge, we embark on a life sure to be full of success. Today is just the beginning of your new story. Congratulations to the class of 2020 for having made it this far in life. Stay safe, take care, and don't forget to love each other. With love, Kush and Cami. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for attending our virtual graduation ceremony to honor the class of 2020. 
Graduates, you are at the very end of your journey through high school, the end of your stay at Chatsworth, our second batch of graduates from the Bukatima campus. You are at the doorstep to a new life and a very big transition. I would like to acknowledge that this has been a very tough year for you, with school disruption these past few months and the passing of a friend and classmate, CJ Salas. CJ was a caring young man and his family have been members of our Chatsworth community for many, many years. Last year, the theme of my graduation speech was transition. You may recall that I shared a metaphor that life is like a giant block of experience, one being placed onto another in a single row that eventually comes crashing down. Eventually, a, found, a strong foundation emerges from the fall, from the, tra from the transition pieces, uh, from, from the transition process. These experiences are things that happen to us and are generally beyond our control except for how we process them as we create our new foundation. This year, I would like to shift our attention to a topic that is 100% in our control, your habits. First, I'd like to tell a story. This is the true story of the failed British cycling team circa 2003. I acknowledge the author James Clear and his book Atomic Habits as the source of inspiration for this story. In 2002, about the year many of you were born, the British cycling team was accurately considered a complete failure. In fact, the performance of British riders had been so underwhelming that one of the top bike manufacturers in Europe refused to sell bikes to them because they were afraid it would hurt sales if other bicyclists saw the Brits using their gear. From 1908 to 2003, British riders had won just one single gold medal at the Olympic Games, and they fared even worse in cycling's biggest race, the Tour de France. Enter Dave Brailsford, the newly hired performance director who had been hired to put British cycling on a new trajectory. What made Dave different from previous coaches was his relentless commitment to a strategy that he referred to as the aggregation of marginal gains, which was the philosophy of searching for a tiny margin of improvement in everything that you do and then consistently doing it. Brailsford said, the whole principle came from the idea that if you broke down everything you could think of that goes into riding a bike and then improve it by 1%, you will get a significant increase when you put it all together. Brailsford began by making small adjustments, the, the, the ones you might expect from a professional cycling team. They redesigned the bike seat to make them more comfortable. They rubbed alcohol on the tires for a better grip. They asked riders to wear electrically heated overshorts to maintain ideal muscle temperature when riding. They used biofeedback sensors. They tested various fabrics in wind tunnels. But they didn't stop there. Brailsford and his team continued to find the 1% improvement in overlooked and unexpected areas. They tested different types of massage gels to see which ones led to the fastest muscle recovery. They hired a surgeon to teach each rider the best way to wash their hands to reduce the chances of catching a cold. They even determined the pillow and mattress types that best led to a great night's sleep. As these and hundreds of other small improvements accumulated, the results came faster than anyone could have anticipated. Just five years after Brailsford took over, the British cycling team dominated the road and cycling events at the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing where they, where they won an astounding 60% of all the gold medals. In the next 10 years, they, they saw hundreds more victories in what is widely regarded as the most successful run in cycling history. How does this happen? How does a team of previously ordinary yet underperforming athletes transform into world champions with tiny changes that at first glance would seem to make a modest difference at best? Graduates, small habits make a big difference. How often have we looked for the quick fix, the life hack, the inside edge to get ahead? In a world run by sensationalism, marketing hype and fake news, it's too easy to get caught up in the next best thing to success. It's too easy to underestimate the power of small habits as the keys to our success. It isn't some giant earth shattering secret that you find that will lead you to happiness and success but rather it's the small habits that you do every day that will make all the difference. Habits aren't sexy. In fact, they are mundane and boring, and most of the time they aren't even noticeable. But they are powerful, and the difference a tiny habit can make over time is astonishing. 
Today's graduation isn't about a cycling team, and it's not really about habits either. It's about you, our graduating class of 2020. It's about you stepping forward into this world, about taking the next step in your lives. You have spent years at school, many of which were here with us at Chatsworth. Graduates, you graduate this afternoon into a world of transition. There have never been more opportunities and arguably never more global uncertainty than for your class. Trust in your education and in the habits that you have developed. You may not know it, but deep inside each of you, you have a superpower that has the potential to bring you to great places in the future. This superpower is the habits that came from your parents who lovingly guided you along the way and from your Chatsworth IB education. The habits that your wonderful and hardworking teachers have caringly and professionally nurtured in you and your classmates every day. You should all be proud of yourselves. I know your friends, family, teachers, and I are. If I can leave you with one final thought, and I hope this message lives on long after you, our graduates, have graduated and after I have left Chatsworth. Please always remember this. It doesn't matter who you are, what religion you believe in, your family's wealth, your first language, the color of your skin, your nationality, your race, your culture, or even who you love. Being a good person, showing kindness and empathy to others is what matters most. As a community, we understand that our greatest differences are our greatest strengths. Graduates, on behalf of everyone who has played a hand in helping you get here today, we wish you the very best and brightest future. Your journey in life has just begun.
come a long way from where we begin. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. When I see you again Hi Year 13, uh, unfortunately we don't get to say this in person but i just like to say goodbye to you all It's been great coaching you, teaching you, most of you through high school um, stay fit. I hope everything that you've planned for comes true. And if you work hard, I'm sure you'll all achieve it. Uh, enjoy your graduation. Unfortunately, we can't be together. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you around one time after this. Bye. Hello, class of 2020. I just want to wish all of you a big congratulations on graduating this year. Uh, it's been a very unusual year, given all the things we have to go, go through. But congratulations, you made it this far. I'm so glad to watch all of you become excellent young men and women and are now proceeding on to the next stage of your life. Uh, I, I had the privilege of seeing you guys in so many lessons in PE and in CAS and then going on many trips together uh, on CEW and watch many of you play sport for the school. So thank you for making so many memories for me. Uh, again, congratulations. Please stay in touch. Uh, see you soon. Take care. Hola chicos, I just want to thank you and let you know that I feel very honored to have been part of your learning journey during the last two years. Uh, we have all learned, we have laughed, we have shared all kinds of stories, um, but now it's time for you to go on into your next part of your life. I wish you the best and Obviously, I will miss you, all of you. Thank you for everything. COVID-19 took away your last quarter of your senior year, but it can't take away what some of you have accomplished here at Chatsworth. U16 and U19 Boys Basketball Gold Championships. Congratulations, Class of 2020, and good luck in your future endeavors. Aloha. All you gotta do is put your brain into it. Take your time and educate your mind. In the long run, I'm sure you'll find that if you walk the walk, you can talk the talk, but don't wait too long. Hello, everyone. I'm really disappointed that we won't have this celebration, this graduation together, because that was going to be the first year in four years that I actually knew all the all the people in year 13 or most of them. So I just want to wish you all the best. I mean, you know, your, your life is going to be great and whatever happens in the next few years, you'll see everything will come right. And I'm going to miss you. Hi everybody. Congratulations class 2020. You survived and have completed the IB program. No matter what the result will be, you guys have unique qualities and you'll be successful in life. It's sad to say goodbye like this. Anyway, I wish you all the best and hope to see you before you take off for further studies. Bye and take care. Year 13, it's been a really great two years getting to know you as individuals and as a class. Um, thank you for all the laughs and um, having to chase you for assignments and um, all the fun that we have during homeroom and pastoral as well. Um, congratulations on all your achievements. I know that you're all going to go uh, to do great things in your life and uh, if you're ever back in Singapore don't forget to come say hi. To the class of 2020, the year may be ending on a strange note and in some ways may be a bit of an anticlimax but it doesn't change the fact that there is a bright future out there ahead of you for all of you. Whether you're heading to the United Kingdom, United States, Netherlands, National Service, go out Make the world your own. Take advantage of all the opportunities the world has to offer you. 
Don't wait for the world to come to you. You go out and make your own opportunities. Good luck, guys. I wish you all the best. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. I'm so proud of all of you, and I know you're off to accomplish amazing things. I hope you always keep Chatsworth in mind and let us know how you're doing. I can't wait to see what all of you accomplish in your amazing journey. Congratulations, class of 2020. It's been an honor watching you guys grow up and overcome challenges. Some of you I have known since year nine when you had chubby cheeks. It's been really fun watching you as athletes, as students, and as artists. Go on and make your dreams come true, and don't give up easily, and don't shy away from difficult challenges in life. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. Take care. Love you guys. Hi, Year 13. I wish I could be saying this to you today in person. Um, congratulations. Uh, I'm very proud of you and what you've accomplished. It's been incredible watching you grow. Uh, many of you I've known for many years. Uh, and I've been able to experience uh, coaching with you and uh, UN day plannings and meetings for e extended essays. And I have to say this cohort has a, a wide variety of personalities and skills and attributes that I am very happy to know are going off into the world to contribute as global citizens. Um, I, for my history students particularly, uh, I will miss you. It's been an incredible ride. Uh, I've really enjoyed our time together and uh, shaping uh, your understanding and perspectives of, of the world is really important to me. And I, and I think that all of you have come leaps and bounds in, in your understandings and in your perspectives uh, and your awareness of the world. Um, I know it couldn't have been easy having a teacher that was pregnant uh, for the last two years. I know DP history is hard enough as it is, let alone to have a teacher that is uh, in and out of the classroom and uh, very hungry and constantly wanting donuts. But um, Khalid, you, you'd be happy to know Shaq and Baby Jesus are doing just fine. And uh, I thank you for your support and your understanding during a time in my life when uh, it wasn't always easy to be talking about Taisho democracies or global war. Um, anyway, uh, I wish you all the best at year 13, and please make sure you come back and visit. I always love to see alumni and to hear where you are and what you're up to in the world. And uh, of course, our students uh, younger than you can always learn from your experiences in university. So I always love to hear from you. Um, so please make sure you keep in touch. Take care. Bye -bye. Congratulations, year 13. It's a big day for you. Celebrate your moment today. I wish you the best for your future accomplishments. One advice, there is no substitute for hard work. So keep working hard, all the very best. I want to thank my friends and classmates for helping me cope with the IB. We laughed and cried and missed deadlines all together. And I couldn't have made it through the past two years without you all. To my family, thank you for your support throughout my late nights and frequent complaining, yet always trusting in me to do my very best. To my teachers, your patience and encouragement has helped me more than anything else in times where I was struggling or felt like I couldn't keep up. I can definitely say that I've grown as a stronger, more confident person for it. Thank you, Ms. Scott, Ms. Lucia, Madam Tuzzolino, Mr. Hudson, Mr. Chang, Mr. Stewart, Mr. Jensen, and Mr. Holding for everything. And finally, thank you Chatsworth for the past 12 years. It is as much the little memories as the big ones throughout my life in Chatsworth, as simple as eating lunch together with my friends or the laughs and jokes that we shared in class that I will forever remember and treasure with all my heart. Thank you, stay safe, and bye. To start off, I wanna thank my parents and my sister and all the teachers that have helped me throughout high school and IB. Mr. Nadar, Mr. Chang, Mrs. Stewart, Mr. Jensen, Ms. Loke, Mr. Holding, Mr. Hudson, Ms. Valdez, and Ms. Sixina. And to all the new friends that I've made over the last four years, and all the parties that we've been to, and all the after school hanging out at 7 Eleven and Hawker Center. I also want to thank a few other people Ms. Newberry for helping me figure out which IB pathway was best for me, my homeroom teachers, Ms. Scott and Ms. Valdez, and Ms. Fisher and Mr. Hudson for helping me figure out which college was the best fit for me. And Abdul for keeping us safe every day. I also wanna say a special thank you to all my coaches inside and outside of school. Mr. Lewis, Coach Joe, 
Mr. Sarong, Mr. Beasley, and Coach Spencer. The Chatsworth community helped create a unique experience for me. I'll always appreciate it and cherish it. My teachers who supported and helped me, thank you. And for everybody else in the class of 2020, good luck. Hi everyone. From the two years that I've been in Chatsworth, it has been a pretty memorable high school experience. Firstly, I'd like to thank all the teachers for supporting me, especially for those who have continuously given me extensions for assignments. Also, I can't forget about my classmates, who made the experience worthwhile and are mostly the highlights of my high school experience. This includes those who left the school and are unable to be with us today. Some of the best moments were the 24-hour race, the MUN conference, and the final IB exam. Hello Chatsworth. Um, for the 17 to almost 18 years I've been on this planet, Chat, uh, my experiences, uh, the four years I've spent here, weren't the smoothest years I've spent. However, there is one thing I'd like to thank to the school, and it's the community that I was um, a part of. Chatsworth presented me to some of my closest friends, some of my favorite teachers, and some of the coolest staff members I've ever met. I've gotten to know many, many of you, especially through the platform of Student Council and MUN and running all those. If it wasn't for Chatsworth, I don't think I would have grown up from a boy to a young adult in the way that I have, which I am eternally grateful for. So I'd like to thank Chatsworth for that. If it was not for you, none of this would have, uh, I would have never experienced all of these. So thank you. Hi, um, I would like to firstly thank Ms. Goss and Mrs. Strong for all the four years I was at Chatsworth. Ms. Goss, you have always been right beside me all along and you believed in my potential as an artist. And for that, I am so incredibly grateful for your mentorship. Mr. Zhuang, I have no idea how you do it, but thank you for putting up with my laziness during Tetra Rugby, and most importantly, for being an awesome coach. I'm extremely fortunate to have spent my high school experience at Chatsworth, as I've got to know such amazing people I know I'll keep in touch with for a very long time. My teachers are not only the, among the most inspirational people I know, but my friends have become my family I now can depend on. So thank you, Chatsworth, for the past four years. Please take care of my sister and the lovely cohort of next year's seniors. I'll see most of y'all soon. Hey, everyone. I wish I could be graduating under better circumstances. I wish I was standing on top of a stage with a podium in front of me in a hall filled with my peers. But instead, I'm stuck in my bedroom talking to a DSLR camera with my dad who's in boxer shorts. But it is what it is. So here it goes. No matter how much I manage to complain about Chatsworth, it's still the place where I found some of my best friends and some of my favorite teachers. It's where I fell in love with certain subjects, and it's where I fell in love with basketball. And whether I like it or not, Chatsworth has shaped me to the person that I am today. And for that, I can only be grateful. But my time as a Chatsworth student has come to an end. And for better or for worse, Chatsworth will always be part of me. To all the people who made these years of schooling worthwhile, thank you. You know who you are. For the past five years since I came to Singapore, Chatsworth has given me quite a lot of first-time experiences, such as making new friends, seeing new faces, owning a new laptop, and having such fabulous grades. But enough about me talking about my fabulous grades. What I would really like to do is to thank the teachers that had given all their time and dedication in guiding me and other students in their successes. I would also like to thank the teachers that have taught me and that I would always remember all the good times that I've had when attending their classes. Also having all of you teaching me has inspired me to begin this new chapter in my life. I couldn't have done it without all of you. Thank you for what you have done for me and for all of us. Thank you. All right. I've been at Chatsworth for a long time, since K1. And throughout this time, I've made many friends along the way. Writing a speech is hard for me because of the amount of time that I've been at the school and um, the amount of memories that I've made. I would like to start by thanking the teachers that have helped me throughout the time with their support and guidance. I would also like to thank all my classmates throughout the years, especially in the current cohort, as they've made my time here easily both academically and mentally. I would also like to thank my close group of friends for creating many memories that I'll never forget 
and being there for me both inside and outside of school. Hi, my name is Justin and I'll be very honored to be graduating with the class of 2020 at Chatsworth. First and foremost, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Chatsworth for providing me with a valuable experience of studying abroad, which would only ease my transition into university in Canada. I'd also like to thank all the staff at Chatsworth for providing me the guidance and skills to tackle the IB program and also other problems that I would have to face. Lastly, I'm very grateful for all the friendships and memories that were made during these last two years of high school that were filled with stress and especially a lack of adequate sleep, which should be no surprise at this point. This experience will be something that I will always remember and treasure. I'm extremely anxious, yet excited for what's to come next. Hi, there's a long list of people that I'd like to thank, but at the top of the list are my parents. I'd like to thank them for supporting me whether I got good grades or bad grades, and for tolerating me whenever I had to stay up late to finish some work. Next, I'd like to thank all of my teachers from my 12 years at Chatsworth. I'd especially like to thank my teachers from the last two years, as I'm sure without you guys I wouldn't have survived the IBDP program. I'd also like to thank all of my classmates. I couldn't have asked for a better group of friends to undergo this journey with me. Hopefully we keep in touch and good luck in whatever you're going to do. Knowing you guys, I'm sure you'll succeed in whatever it is. Lastly, a word of advice to all the students still in Chatsworth. Enjoy your remaining years of school. I'm not sure you'll take my words to heart, but this is just something that I wish I had done more. Other than that, good luck and goodbye. Oh boy, Chatsworth has been one long ride and I will safely say that it's the most excellent journey of my life. I'm going to sorely miss coming to Bukatima and seeing all the lovely teachers, staff and the monkeys. I want to thank my year 12 friends for giving me the mantle of Papa Kush. It's a joke I'm going to sorely miss. And I just have too many great memories of this place to ever be really able to move on. So if you've ever made a meaningful contribution to my life, know that you'll be well remembered. Take care and don't forget to spread the love. This year has been crazy. It doesn't look like it's the end for Corona, but it does look like it's the end for my journey here at Chatsworth. I've been here since year nine, which means I've attended four different graduation ceremonies. And while watching each one of those, I would think, dang, that'll be me in so and so years. And as that no number slowly came down, it's made me realize how fast time has come. Two years ago, towards the end of year 11, I remember a teacher telling us, once you put on a white shirt, you have no more life for the next two years. So this is one of the most uninspiring things I'd ever heard, but I'm glad to say they were wrong. I'd even go as far as to say that I've lived more of a life than I ever have. Um, fear monger is something I didn't learn anything from and I'm not thankful for, but I guess the main takeaway is that you'll get through it just as I have and thousands have before me with a life. I have a lot to be thankful for though. You might not know it, but every single person that's watching this has helped me become the person I am today. Whether you have taught me in class, you have been my teammate or just said hi to me in the halls. I thank you. I'm especially thankful for the group of amazing friends that I've made here and hope to keep in contact with for the rest of my life. You boys know who you are. Firstly, I just want to say thank you to all my friends, to all my teachers, and to anyone really who has been there for me throughout the past two years I spent here in Chatsworth. I'm sure you already know who you are and I just want to thank you for it. These past two years has definitely impacted and changed who I am in a positive way. Lastly, I just want to let you all know that no matter what happens, everything is going to be alright in the end. Even if you find it difficult to believe that for yourself, I hope that you can at least trust or have some faith in my words and, that, and what I said. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone, I'm Renoa, and I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the teachers that have taught me for the past five years and have helped shape the person who I am today. Especially Ms. Ran, who for the past two years have been so patient with me to getting my writing decent and our endless EE meetings. Mr. Nadar, who was the teacher that has seen me cry the most in his class. I know I wasn't the best student, but you've always pushed me and believed in me and I will always be grateful for that. I also want to thank my parents for being so supportive and as well as a special friend of mine, Alexander, for being my number one cheerleader. Chatsworth has provided me a home and a safe community and I will always be grateful for that. And I just want to say for the class of 2020, I'm so proud of us for surviving the past two years of being sleep deprived and barely having any social life. I'm, I hope it was worth it. And 
thank you for all the memories for making I be bearable and for all of the laughs. And I hope in 10 years time, we will all see each other again, happy and have achieved our dreams. Chatsworth was a home to me for 12 years, and I'd like to thank all my friends and teachers for letting me feel that way. I usually forget things easily, but all the memories I made in Chatsworth is something I'll never forget. Orchard Campus was also a big part of my life, and I really miss going to school there. And finally, I would like to thank all my classmates for all the support in the last two years. I would not have completed the IB without everyone, and I really appreciate it. The one thing I regret, especially after a few months of not going to school, is hanging out with everyone more. Hope everyone succeeds and get rich. And for NS people, let's go through another two years together. Uh, here we are at the end of the chat sort of experience, the season finale. And, you know, I didn't really expect to be graduating through the front camera of my iPhone 7, but you know, whatever works. Uh, I was here since year four, and the school has been a huge, such a big part of my life. And it's a little bittersweet to know that it's all over. But all I have are my thanks to all the teachers that have ever taught me, including the ones that have left, including the ones that have taught me maybe for a semester, or the ones that have never taught me. Maybe they were like a CCA supervisor, but thank you to everyone. Your lessons have been invaluable to my life, and I want to thank my parents for being the most supportive parents you could ever ask for, of supporting me through probably the worst economic decision I could ever make of going to art school. So I want to thank everyone, and uh, yeah, see you. I've been a student at Chatsworth for close to 12 years now, so I've created countless memories along the way, and I'd like to thank the people who have helped me. First of all, I'd like to thank my parents, who have given me a lot of emotional support and advice throughout all of my school years, but especially in the last two years, where times have been a lot more difficult. Secondly, I'd like to thank the teachers. They've pushed me in the right direction and helped me to achieve all of my goals and aspirations during my time at the school. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my friends and the boys who have made my school experience a lot more than just academics through basketball or whatever it may be. Chatsworth is like a second home to me and I wouldn't trade up my experience here for anything. So thank you to everyone. On behalf of the class of 2020, we'd like to thank everyone for the great journey. We students of flesh and faith, deluded by hope some may see as unattainable, are to cope with the reality that our lives are to get harder from here. Whether it is entering university in unknown areas of operation or enduring the strains of national service, we all battle the waves of life. Yet, in this mess we call life, the connections we've made and experiences we went through made this section of the ride a great one. We are your class of 2020. Not just because we scooted our way past every year, but because of the enormous amount of hard work and effort that we put to get to where we are today. And we couldn't have done this without our friends, family, and teachers constantly encouraging us and believing in us. This ceremony is the end of an arduous journey. So we want to take this opportunity to thank our peers for all the memories and the laughter we made for the past two years or even more. We all went through good times and rough times, but everything that we've been through has made us into better students and friends to one another. I think it is also worth mentioning Adia, Cami, and Crystal, who are the only three other girls amongst the other 14 guys. I'm proud of us for surviving the past two years being with them. But in all seriousness, even though there were only four of us, we never truly felt left out. Amen. Furthermore, to the boys, fate would have it we would compete as foes for a multitude of reasons sports, education, girls. But this environment we shared has made us brothers. I would like to thank each and every one of you for the camaraderie we have. These connections are far from over and I hope that we keep them as we grow. In addition, I'd like to thank the High Council, a ragtag team of comrades who have grown together through rock and metal and time. This shout out is to Miles, Josh, Harry, Anirut, Shun, Kishav, Rahim, Alex, Andrew, Hishan, Arshmir, Shogo, Idan, AJ, George, Alfie, Mateo, and Danil. You have made these four years of high school more than enjoyable, and I hope this group does not get lost in the waves of time. And to
to CJ. Our condolences to your family. Losing you this year was something no one expected and it hit deep within our community. You were an enjoyable presence, always smiling, kind, dedicated, and a fun person to be around. Those army crawls you taught me in year 11, I will never forget them and will use them all throughout NS. We would like to thank you for being on this journey with us. Knowing the pain you felt, we are all happy that you're finally free to rest. You're always in our minds and hearts. And to the teachers who taught us during our time here, you did not only have an impact on us academically, but has also shaped us to the people we are today. Especially our IB teachers who had to have the biggest patience to be able to deal with our stubbornness and procrastination, like Ms. Horan, Mr. Bogavin, Mr. Newberry, Mr. Hudson, Mr. Beasley, Ms. Valdez, Ms. Scott, Mr. Nadar, Mr. Holding, Ms. Goss, Ms. Staple, Mr. Chang, Mr. Nanwani, Mr. Lewis, Mr. Sarong, Ms. Tansy, Madam Tuzlino, Madam Wong, Madam Lachey, Mr. Stewart, Mr. Jensen, Mr. Reed, Ms. Saxena, Mr. McCallum, Madam Zhang, Mr. Burke, Ms. Nazira, and Mr. Sherwood. Oh gee, we really did do this to a lot of teachers. Forever into our future, we will tell stories and reminisce of the memorable teachers and classrooms that taught us so diligently. We also want to thank the faculty and staff for all the help they gave us, especially Abdul who has always been so friendly with everyone. To family. For me, these years sadly saw the loss of a few family members, including my aunt, some uncles, and grandfather. They were like tempests, never shaken, and a guiding star to me. Others too have experienced these types of losses, but we pushed forward, knowing our accomplishments will honor them. Furthermore, to parents, I'd like to thank all the parents of the cohort of 2020 for clothing, paying, and aiding us, seeing our highs and lows and making sure I'd, we'd all be on the right track for the future. All of this wouldn't have happened, literally, if it wasn't for you. I hope that by the will of God, we will all be able to say thanks and show how your investment in us has paid off. And to siblings and cousins, thank you for being there when we needed someone to be there, for talking, aiding, and just being there. And finally, to all the other friends, to those of Chatsworth and to those who are in the younger years, you have all made this journey an extremely unforgettable one. Especially with Khalid and I being in the student council, we became familiar with many school-wide. From as little as some in K2s to year 12s, we met, spoke, and enjoyed moments with you all. Without issues, without problems, but with a strong sense of community. And to those outside of Chatsworth, from all schools, you have worked, competed, connected, complained with us countless of times, and these bonds will hopefully remain intact. This vast network of international students will hopefully see themselves grow into respectable people with the help being only a few finger taps away. Thank you. We know this lockdown may affect some of y'all's morales and feelings with this type of graduation, but know this, the battle against the virus is not over yet and we haven't lost. We stay strong and believe. With this, I'm glad to declare this chapter of our lives close. Although my mind is deluded, the story is hopefully far from concluded. As for me, this is Kalita Boo Phoenix 1, signing out. And this is Renoa Serana Cannon, Phoenix 4, signing out.